Next up, we have four packs each of the uh, of the thing of the uh, of the sets. We have four packs of two different sets. Welcome to Jalara and Rays. So I'm gonna open two, and Zion Player Junior is going to open two. You mean four? Yeah, I mean two of each. We're gonna we're gonna pick which which arcs we like the most, and we're gonna see who gets the better pulls and whatnot. So I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick uh, these two, and I'm gonna pick these two. I'm gonna open these four packs, and so Zion Blader Jr. will open these four packs. All right, Zion Blader Jr., which pack are you gonna open first? Welcome to Jalara. 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 Or Jalara. Made in Canada. 15 yeah. card booster pack. 15 cards. That's a lot of cards. Designed by Asad Qureshi. Qureshi. Draconis Naga. It looks like a serpent. A sea serpent. Draconis Naga. A sea serpent with like shiny, sharp claws. Looks pretty cool. Oh, wow. I wonder what these are. emblems mean. And see, it's it a, that's what like what kind of faction it's from. Shadow Claw, Dark Attack, Jalarian Waters, Jalarian Waters, Bondor, Chain Lightning. Ooh, I like that. That's pretty cool. Is he connect? Oh, it's like a double team or something. Oh no! So if you tag this person, the person next to it, it also gets. That's pretty cool. Walls of Bodice, Dark Brand. Grey Wolf, hey, okay. Yeah, that guy. Holy Suppression, nice. This is my favorite artwork. It looks like a technical death metal album or something. Yeah. You put cards on there, you dang up. Healing Fur, Fair, Pure, 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 Pure. Kendra. Kendra. Who's Kendra? She's a champion. Oh, I know a girl named Kendra. Epiphany. Weep. Okay. Hurricane Sweep. Nice, I like that. It's your kit. first pack. What do you think about the first pack? It's pretty good. I like, I like these. Uh, these deals. We have to read more into the what it actually does because we've we just been looking at the art style. Yeah. For it. But you like the art style. It's pretty cool. I like how it shows you like like it's, it's like a video game, right? It says common. Do you have a rare in this? Let's see. Common, 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 common. Ooh, rare. That's healing fire. Fear. Rare? See? You have another rare? Again. Starter. Uncommon. Ooh, Epiphany's uncommon. Uncommon. Uncommon, nice. Alright, you open your second pack. We'll do a blue, I like blue. The blue one. There you go. Fire Look, Master Dance. Cards. Fire Master Dance, uncommon. I like that. Dense Fly, that's pretty cool, uncommon. Ooh, wait a minute. Erica. <laughs> Erica. I wonder what mythology this takes from, or if it's its own. Like Greek mythology or something like that. Call to the, call to the Bones. That's pretty cool. Fire Fiend. Ooh. Oh, it looks, it looks cool. Oops. Maybe I should hire this guy to, uh, to do my uh, album art. I like these I like this art style. Shadow Master. Common. Arcane Shield. What? Dracoon is Vixen. Oh, Fox Reno. Fox Reno. Mirage. 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 Oasis. Tashi. Psych. Psyche. Shock Lizard. Hey. Shock Lizard. Flame Jet. Nice. Hey! Who's that? Dusk Trail Mouse. Mouse Reno's. Mouse Reno's. Well, Mouse Reno's. We got anything? A little strawberry or something? A little couple of. Is that a raspberry? Yeah. It's a raspberry. Thanks. By who? A white wine. I wonder who did this. By who? By who? By me. By you? By who? What do you think about the second pack? It's pretty good. It's pretty some, good. Uh, animals in there. It's pretty cool. We're getting different stuff. Because what are these packs? I guess these packs have different uh, things, right? Relevance to different things. So I have rays. Rays. Yeah, they're different sets. Welcome to Jewelry. Can they be used in the same deck or something? Yeah. Expansion. Open it from the bottom. What do you think about the back art? Pack art's pretty cool. It's like a. It, like, it looks like it takes from different type of mythologies and puts it into one thing. Yeah. 
Unhinge. Okay. I wonder what that is. She's preaching something. She's like, hey, get out of my hand. I don't want to talk to you. Strangle vines. Ooh, okay. This place. Ooh. Oh, my guy can go everywhere. Ooh, landslide. Nice. Neutralize attributes. I knew wolf. The skinny wolf Reno's. I made behemoth. This is gonna be a weird comparison, but I've been playing a lot of South Park Stick of True. Yeah. And I think this is the, the attack direction. So I'm guessing on the placement, we haven't looked at the placement yet, or the battle mat, whatever you call it. Oh, yeah. But I think you have designated slots on whatever you can attack at. Because is there one where it's all encompassing? Because. Well, you can move the cards up and down. So I'm guessing that shows you where they. Well, I guess they can also attack that direction too, right? True. Fire Cub. Did I skip a couple? No. You're a behemoth? Fear Monger. Looks brutal. Lulu Kor 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 Fang Ooh, Stone Pro Pro Protector of Nai Ni Nai Libraries of Sahas 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 Phoenix Fire Hey, I got my own Rajasi Land Nice yeah. Alright Last one I like it, it looks like a like those ancient Chinese or maybe ancient Hindu type styles the way it's accented it and it has bangles too, see? Yeah. Interesting. We should we should ask them what mythology they got inspired from. It's like haunted castle games. Ooh, scary, spooky. They're making these spooky cards. Yeah, well this uh this uh, card game is from like uh came out like I think a couple years ago, but now they're doing their big uh, expansion. Deathly return. What is that? Ooh, it's a skeleton kid cat. Not kid cat. Selective amnesia. Ooh. Um, upheaval. Stack token card. We have to research what a token card is. Is that, is that a CGI card? A CGI? I don't know. I think so. I like that. It's, it mixes like hand drawn art and CGI and stuff. Yeah. I like different uh, art styles. I'm not gonna pronounce Afocatasis. Afocastasis. Infernal Lashback. Tornado Winds. By who? A parry. Ooh, sea crate. I like, I like these snakes. Float. Ooh, that's one of my favorite. Fire Fiend. Fire Fiend. Shadow Master. Arcane Shield. And Draconis mixing. Pretty cool. good. Pretty good. What do you think of the cards? Really good. I really like the art style. All right, now it's my turn to open these packs. I'm guessing the Welcome to Jalaria is the uh, the first set because it says Welcome, and I'm assuming that it's a, since it's a greeting, it'll be the first one. So let's open the cards and see. Which cool ones I have? Hey, you watching this, Zeon Blader Jr.? Are you looking at your phone? We got Holy Inbu. Have you seen this card before? Holy Inbu. Got Teleportation. Yeah, Gust. I've seen that before. We got Blazing Strike. We got Hawajin. That guy's cool. Inferno Ghoul. Thunderstruck. Reckless Demolition. Q Rabbit. A silver legged recluse, the Vorpal Blade, Nubia, uh, Urticating Tarantula, Lambs for the Slaughter, the in the cathedral Cathedrals of Vadis. What do you think about those cards, Yon Blader Jr.? Hey, what am I asking you? What about me? What do I think of those cards? I think they're pretty cool. And then what about this pack? This pack looks the flashiest out of all of them. So that's why I picked it. Maybe there's something cool. I wonder if they have holographics in the packs. I'm not sure. But I know they, they sent us a couple holographic cards. But it makes me wonder if there's holographics in the packs. There's Ando 3 of the blood again. Leo Unwa. Un Unad. That one's cool. A lion. Cleave. There's a bunch of spiders. Take to the skies. Disenchant. Right? Dawajin. Dark strength. 
that's a cool card. Rebound, that's a cool card. Direct Defense, Foresight of the Ancients. And hey, look at that guy, that's cool. So it's just a light. Angel's Embrace, Shadow's Grasp, and Vadis Sphinx. Hey, didn't you have a Sphinx guy looking guy too? But this one actually says Sphinx on it. But now to the other set. Raze, or Rozzy, I don't know. Let's see. Here, Oten, Gelada Baboon, Ascendant Teachings, wow. Zanber Dragon, that's really cool, I love dragons. Earth Pillar, Aura Transmutation, Electric Thuban, Head Slip, Kodama, Inferno Lashback, Tornado Winds, Bahu, Bahu, Perry, Sea Crate, and then Float. I like this guy, he's cool. And the last one, let's open it up. Alright. I don't know if the, I wonder if they don't, they don't do holographics. Well, I mean, I know they sent us a couple holographics but I wonder if you can get holographics in the pack or maybe we're just super unlucky instill vigor blood centipede odara 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 yamaduta merciless beating tempest sphinx they have a, a few sphinxes here peaceful I so I told you to go through the cards and take out your favorite looking ones and yeah I got a bunch of them so why don't you show us the, the cards that you really like? First off is a Hamid Behemoth. I really like it. Uh, I'm a metal musician, so uh, it really looks like a death metal album, or a technical death metal album. I really like this dark gothic style type artistry. So that's one. Next is Grey Wolf. Same reason. Looks cool. A freaking uh, wolf. Taking his claws out here. Next is Shadow Master. Looks like a cool game. Like every one of these cards could look like a, a poster and I'd hang them up on my wall. Wow. That's how good these are. Next is the Rajasi Lion. It looks cool. I don't know if these are was original mythology or they take different mytholo mythological creatures and they put them into one, but it looks really cool. Next is the Dusk of Trail Master. It's really cute. A little, a little mouse reno's holding a little raspberry little hands. This one's this place. Looks cool. I can just by looking at it, I can see like the motions of the actual characters and what it does and stuff. Yeah, it really looks powerful. Yeah, exactly. Next is Leaf, which is pretty badass. It's literally a guy whose weapon is literally a skull of his fallen enemy, and he hits people in the face with it. So that's pretty dope. Next is the Holy Suppression, where he like majestically, magically took over. A uh, lion, he's riding a lion and his, as his cavalry, cavalry, so that's pretty dope. Then this is Draconis Naga. I mean, what else did I say? It's like a freaking sea creature, monster, dragon mixed into one. The badass. Imagine the damage it can do, stuff like that. Next is the Call, Call to the Bones. Sounds like a super dope thrash album from the 80s. And like, the album art's pretty cool too. Next is the weighted net. It looks cool. It looks like it's like a like one of those angels. Uh, what's it called? A disturbed angel being weighted down by a net. It looks really cool. All these all of these art styles are really cool. These pictures and stuff. Next is the libraries of Sahas. Again, same reason why. It looks super cool. Mystery. Library of Sahas. Sahas. Next is this the stone protector of Nai. Reminds me of what is that? What is that? A uh, thing in uh, in Egypt? The Sphinx. The Sphinx. Reminds me of the Sphinx. But it's cooler because it has wings and the nose is not blown off by Napoleon Bonaparte. So that's pretty cool. Next is Firefly. This is my favorite one. Yeah, that, that the guy looks cool too. Cause it looks like a early '80s death metal album with like the uh, the goat skull. Is that a goat? I don't know. A ram with the devil fire behind the lights wings. covering it. There you go. Cool. The devil wings and all that stuff. It's really cool. Next There's is, more. 
<laughs> How many cards Secret. did you pay? Oh, well, I'm, I'm a big fan of these cards. It's like a serpent, a sea serpent. It's a killer sea serpent, which is really cool. Next is the Fear Monger. This is a badass. It's like a mixture of goosebumps and death metal and all that stuff. The art style is really cool. The picture, the drawings are really impressive. I can only imagine how long it took to draw these. But you can tell there's a lot of talented artists behind these cards, so it's not like they just typed up something on Photoshop. It's actually looks like it took effort and stuff. Next is the Baihu. This is a, what's called a albino tiger. It's pretty cool, I like albino tigers. Can't breed. You know that? They can't breed, so. It lives, it, most people's uh, life's meaning is to breed and to populate. This tiger's life purpose is to go to war and to battle. Next is the Infernal Lashback, which is someone literally burning the same by who. So that's pretty cool. Those are my favorite cards. Yeah. So your initial impressions, what do you think? You don't know any of the rules, you're just looking at them by the cards. We really don't know any of the rules, we don't know what any of these things mean. But I like how, because it's a collectible card game, and it shows you that on the bottom it says either common or uh, or uncommon. So uh, I like that aspect of it because it as we're ooh, what, what kind of card do you have? Is it common or uncommon? It's like a, it takes cool RPG video games, takes trading card games, and then mixes it all into one. And that's really interesting because I I'm really into RPG games. Um, not super into TCGs, but I feel like this is the kind of card game that will get me into those type of games. All right. Right, so we opened a bunch of packs and from my side I have a huge stack of cards that I at least from uh, aesthetically wise I like them the dark passive passage tempest sphinx skeleton warrior merciless beating this one's cool merciless beating is my favorite I wonder who this guy is I want him as a champion instill vigor float by who Zanber dragon this is awesome I wish there was more dragons I only got, we only got one so far. Angels Embrace. And then just this thing. This is like a token or something. The Foresight of the Ancients. Rebound. Dark Strength. Searing Light. Leo Unad. Gust. Thunderstruck. Inferno Ghoul. Silver Legged Recluse. Ryukyu Rabbit. And Hawa Jin. But yes, these are all the cards that I liked, and now let's actually learn how to play the darn game. <laughs>